Hey guys, welcome back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. In this video, we're going to try and keep it short and sweet. Uh, essentially, we're going to be talking about how to level up your characters to get them up to level 1000 the fastest. This is specific to the current thank you campaign that's currently running, but can be used in other uh, aspects to, for trying to get your characters up to level uh, 1000 or higher, whatever what the case may be in the future of the game. Um, so that way you can do it as quick as you possibly can. It's currently June 25th, 2018. So if you're watching this like a year from now, I'm sure the same mechanics are going to apply, just going to be different levels. So uh, right now, the whole campaign, pretty much what you need to do is you need to get three of every element up to level 1000. Now, obviously, that's going to be pretty difficult unless you play daily. And yes, you do have to play daily if you want to do that within the time limit. Um, it's been going on for a while. Every day you do have the experience campaign that takes up five stamina um, per one. So you have two of those to run. That's definitely going to help you out a lot. You do have training that you can go into the thing, into the actual training uh, location in game. And you could add your characters to training. Um, or you can go to levels that have higher levels of training. Now, if you're going to ask me which characters you should specify first, obviously sparkings are going to be your first priority. You do have uh, almost two of each type for sparking characters. I mean, you have three types for physical. You have Pycon, Final Form Freeze, and Gohan. And again, this is if you have them. For technique, you have Piccolo and you have Captain Ginyu. For agility, you have Goku, uh, you have Pan, and you have Broly. Uh, for intelligence, you only have Vegeta. Again, I'm using the uh, Dokkan equivalent, so they're like actually called by their colors, like purple, blue, green, yellow, uh, power, or uh, sorry, strength is red. <laughs> so, and, and red is Super Saiyan Goku. Now, the next set of units that I would recommend is probably going to be your extreme units because they're going to be most likely they will be used um, as support units in your game, in the game when you're playing. Um, so take a look at their Z souls or their, uh, their Z souls, yeah, their Z power, and see which ones benefit your teams the most and focus on getting them. Personally, I, I still don't have this third form Frieza. This is like the Frieza that I really wanted. Like I'm getting a little bit off topic right now. I love this guy. Plus, he's purple base blast attack increase during da uh, increases damage. So awesome for Vegeta. I did not get a single one and I did seven multi summons damn it anyway um focus on those uh, and then from there go on to heroes if you have to again make sure you look at their Z abilities before you go and start getting them up the reason why I say that is because if you end up using them in PvP and like you happen to be like full type disadvantage with the main characters that you're using you want those subunits that are you're using to boost your other units to also be able to hold their own in battle in case you need to use them like if you bring like the Super Saiyan Goku and like some like a couple other units in here uh, like if you have Goku you have Broly and you had like this Goku or something like that right as your primary team um, and you the team that you went up against brought has like two technique units and like an agility unit or something like that you might want to consider taking out that Super Saiyan Goku and throwing in another unit over here that might be a technique one and again that's not like what's going on right here because I think all the technique ones only buff up techniques or types that don't affect either of these two but you know what I'm saying it's just trying to make the point there um, try to only increase those guys I think I've rambled on not, not long enough anyway outside of the experience what should you be focusing on well there's really honestly the best ones right now is either gonna be one of two things in terms of the game that's available you have the current story event available the dreaded Ginyu Force I highly recommend just doing all the basic missions at least trying to go up into all these levels and clearing out all the missions that's gonna give you good experience especially when you're on EX-1 through 5 um, when you're doing those they give you more experience than typical rounds do you want to make sure you get all of the chrono crystals that you can once you complete all the challenges if you were able to do that you do get the battle tokens which is going to be really good for the exchange shop um, the other ones for chapters one through eight is going to make it a little bit easier to do just because they're like lower level opponents like level 681 and 630 uh, 663 are the two like low highest level ones on those levels so you could definitely go ahead and do that some of you may be saying well i can't even do those levels we'll talk about that in a minute but again, uh, focus on this if you can. There's a lot of other uh, secondary missions. Go check out the uh, the mission rewards to see which ones you do. I know like one of them is you need to battle with Captain Ginyu. Well, there's two Captain Ginyus. If you pull the sparking one and then you get the free to play one. So if you get both of those guys, we're well, not free to play. Uh, he's he's the uh, other one. I think he's like a hero one. So if you use both of those people, put them both on one team and bring one really strong unit, you will knock out those mission rewards. That's one way to do it. If you're looking to per specifically only, you don't really care about the Captain Ginyu stuff, and you really only want to actually increase the, the, the attack, other than EX5 for doing that, because the, the experience is 6875, go over to the main story. Uh, book 2, I believe that's the highest one it goes to. Yeah, book 2, 6 on hard. 
gives 8,628 experience points. Again, you need to have a top tier unit. I brought my level 1000 Vegeta because Vegeta does good against both technique types that are here and the agility one he does pretty good as well. And I just constantly ran that, plus it got Super Soul 2 drops of the, uh, of the technique. So that's awesome. And it drops Milk Crate. Like I said before earlier, make sure you utilize your training. The milk crates, the blue milk crates, they give you the most training as of right now in game. Again, obviously in the future, uh, focus on something that gives you better drops, like re more rare drops, like the Super Soul 2 in this case at this point in the game. It's a very rare drop, so you want to make sure, like I'm focusing on that. And the milk crates are very hard to get as well. So running this level over and over and over again to increase the, uh, the experience, increase the level of my unit, and I have chances of getting these rare items, definitely makes it beneficial to me. Plus I have the Rising Soul 1, 2, and 3, and two and three for the agility and for the tech, obviously, um, in order to increase them. Now, with that being said, what if you can't handle going up on hard? Well, first things first, you know, go on chapter one. What missions can you actually do on chapter one? Can you do chapter, well, not even chapter one, I'm sorry, that's book two. Uh, so let's go back over to part one. Uh, so part one, you have different books, right? On um, book seven is, it goes up to normal on book seven check out chapter eight this is on normal you go up against goku at level 800 can you not go up against him check out chapter three it's level 500 400 and honestly guys that's what you're gonna have to do i would personally focus on one unit one of your units that you want to get up to level 1000 of, of course you should really focus on sparking and the top units that I think you should focus on is either going to be the Broly, the Vegeta, or the Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, outside of that, Pai Kuhan, um, I just personally like Frieza, uh, and Piccolo. This Goku is good too, He's plus he's technically free to play, you just need to get those uh, medals. So, you can go ahead and focus on them if you wish to. Um, but that's definitely going to be what I'm going to tell you. Focus on one of your units, get them up to level 1000. When you have one unit at level 1000, even though you're kind of uh, focusing specifically on that one unit to carry you, Honestly, it's going to help you get through. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be the best plan of action to get you through PvP and all the stories. Don't just do it like you would do it in Pokemon, where you have one unit, you get up to, like, level 80. Because, like, he'll be good for specific events, but he won't be able to take on the Elite Four type of thing. But use that one unit so that way you could increase the, uh, the experience points quicker of your other units. So what I did is I took my Vegeta. I got up to level, the hard level. I think it was level uh, Chapter 1 at the time, because Chapter 1 is the one... Well, not Chapter 1. Um, let's see, Book 1... It was book uh, book one that I got on part one, and I got to chapter four on hard, right? And experience was 8196. Now, these guys were really difficult to go up against, but I had my Vegeta at level, I think he was at 1,000. I had my Super Saiyan Goku at level, like, um, I think it was 800 or something like that. So I used my Vegeta to take on the uh, Kawhi men and the Cybermen. So he took those two on, and when the physical one came out, I just brought out my Goku. And I would just do that over and over and over again until he got up to level 1000. Then I had two units at level 1000. At that point, when you have two units at level 1000, it definitely makes things a lot easier. Make sure they're different attributes. Don't get two of the same attributes at level 1000. Make sure they're different attributes, because at that point... Um, you'll actually be able to uh, take on almost all the events. Now, Goku and Vegeta, uh, Vegeta's weak against physical, but Goku is strong against um, uh, strong against physical. So that benefited me the most. So anyway, that's how I did it. Um, and now I have a lot of units. I don't, I don't have a lot of 1,000 units. All my sparking characters that I have, except for the Captain Ginyu are level 1,000. But Ginyu is at like 980-something right now. Um, so I'm really close to actually getting him up to level 1,000. So that will be my second technique character, level 1,000. The strength, my strength Krillin's almost at level 1,000. And that's pretty much how I'm going down the road in order to increase their attacks. And again, all you need to do at that point, make sure you get one of every attribute up to level 1,000. So that way, like make me personally right i'm going up against um part two our uh, story part two um uh, sorry part one book two on hard right now right chapter two uh, on hard there we go god dang it <laughs> um so over here right and i'm oh, sorry uh, chapter six over here and again uh, the enemy party is going to be strength i'm uh, sorry uh, agil uh technique technique and agility i could just bring my vegeta on here because i was able to handle all the other ones using my level 1000 team and honestly don't worry about doing all the mission reward to get to this level focus on leveling everyone up at that point you just run it over and over and over again it doesn't matter that the one character that's at level 1000 is um is not getting any level he's the one helping you get all your other characters level so bring one one level 1000 and all other five units make sure that they can be leveled up and go from there 
Um, again, you're going to need to get Super Soul 1 and Super Soul 2s and Rising Soul 1, 2, and 3s in order to max out your characters, because in order to ascend them, you definitely need them. You're also going to need the Zenny. Make sure you're doing your Zenny missions every single day to get that up. And during the login bonuses, I know I said this when it first came out, uh, and I did. I released my videos over the weekend, make sure you select the 300,000 Zenny in order to move forward in the game. Um, anyway, there you go. So that's that again. That's how you're going to increase your experience the best uh, Come over here to legends.dbz.space That's where I'm finding out all my information about the experience how much experience is going to um, cost in order for you to uh, Or how much experience you're going to gain while you're running those levels um, Outside of that um, let's see over here. We do have the drop rates. If you go over to gamey.jp forward slash dbz dash legends, you can go over here and you can check out the Super Soul drop rates. Go ahead, pause the screen. I did do another video, which you're going to see later on in the day, um, about when I actually talked about all this. But pause this if you need to, or check out gamey.jp to look at the drop rates of what levels have the highest drop rates. Again, I personally will recommend to you to go on the levels uh, that are hard. The hardest levels you can go for, like, instance, the technique or the, te the, the green super soul 2 you have a little bit of higher drop rate on 113 hard but 126 hard has uh, more experience than 113 so i would highly recommend going on 126 uh in order in instead of the other level to increase that uh the experience that little bit of that little that little, little bit of increase with the super soul 2 drop rate does not outweigh the experience that you're going to gain um you also have other information over here for the rising souls if you need that but again you should also know from the videos i did the other week on uh, dragon ball legends on where to find your drop your actual soul uh, one other thing from the uh, actual Ginyu event, uh, here's all the equipment. This is the equipment guide. I just want to at least get into some video. It didn't really fit into anything. Um, I will be doing a full equipment guide at some point where we can talk about it. Uh, but this is all the different uh, equipment that is available on the current Ginyu event. Um, honestly, I think the ones that might be worth something, if you have the Sparking Ginyu, definitely get this. Try to get him up. Uh, he does damage up to 15%. Strike Defense Blast Defense goes up to 15%. I would personally do damage output up to 15% if you could get it. I highly recommend doing that. Um, the other two, uh, Jice, Birder, uh, they're okay because uh, you, you can run them on one team. Well, you, you obviously you can run them on a team. But uh, the pri as primary units, maybe not so much. But then again, Guldo and Raccoon will probably be your support units. And these two are definitely going to be units that you're going to run on your primary team. Um, you have the Ginyu Force, which is anything good for the Ginyu Tag. Then you have Guldo and Raccoon. I don't really think you need either of these two items, just because you're probably never going to run Guldo or Raccoon on a team. And then the other is going to be the real battle begins now and release your key. These are the two that I think you're going to be the most are going to be the most beneficial to you, uh, just because the real battle begins now is for specific yellow types. It does health, uh, it increases your health and gives you strike and blast defense up to 10%. Not the best, it is bronze, so it's not one of the better items, but you can it, can, it will it will benefit you. Um, and then release your key from Krillin. It's a hero unit uh, or hero support item. Now, not me personally, I'm not going to run really any type of hero cards, but it is available for hero cards if you need them um you will do health plus 15 percent, and then you do strike attack slash defense um our blast attack slash defense so focus on whichever one i don't know if you're going to do a blast attack and a strike attack depending on what you get it might be beneficial to you but um that's just that anyway guys that's it thank you for joining me here today i will do an equipment guide in another video that one's probably gonna be a little bit shorter i just want to make sure i at least talked about how to level up for this campaign let me know if this is beneficial to you and if this helped you out and what is your plan how have you guys done so far um how many units have you gotten up to 1000 anyway guys thank you i'll catch you all in the comments peace